So hi guys, this is Miss Collins, aka Miss Hell Like It is 48 to T. Yep, 48 to T, that's me. So before I even start my video, I'm going to show my respect to the families of Losanjo Guzman Files Jr. And I believe her name is Luz, the little four year old girl. Now, um, I'm sorry I haven't been on YouTube for a while. Um, it's just that this whole situation that has, um, you know, occurred with um, Young Prince Jr. and Young Princess Señorita Luz as well as a lot of other individuals who have, um, who have fallen this year, unjustifiably, um, no reason, no reason whatsoever, just, now, I don't want to go much into this video with, with that situation because it's taken a terrible toll on me, it's taken a toll on me by way, I mean physically, mentally, um, emotionally and in every aspect because normally I would have been on this video making my little videos and doing my thing but between the NYCHA stuff and I'm sure y'all heard about that situation with the NYCHA in Harlem got some room or or whatever filled with NYCHA residents because they want to hear NYCHA residents voices whatever my thing is like this You've been hearing our voices with, without the need of gathering us into a room or auditorium or whatever to hear what we have to say. Yet you've been hearing what we have to say. So now you want to use this as a way of picking our brains in regards to issues that you already knew about, NYCHA? No. Um, another thing is um, with Lissandro. And lose it's just horrific I think I've seen just about every single video that I could possibly see every single one and in regards to my family being law enforcement FDNY nurses and doctors and so forth you know we was at the round table <laughs> you know I went back and forth with this family member and that family member went back and forth you know miss Collins we we was like what the hell was that about? Okay, yeah. He should be here. Junior should still be alive. Um, and that's like one end of the, one end of the pillar, and then the other end of the pillar is oh, there wasn't a chance. Anyway, it was like it was it was a headache. And I'm probably sure y'all like, well, why was y'all? Because everybody is. We're all trying to figure like what the hell? Like what? Seriously? I mean, I will, my videos, maybe one or two, you're going to see them ending in Justice for Junior because there has to be. That's without question. If, if nothing else is said on my videos in regards to that, Justice for Junior and Justice for Loose, and Justice for every individual who, all the little angels and all the little princess and princesses and all the, that have fallen unjustifiably justice justice so I'm gonna end this video on that because it just it already took me to a situation right now where I'm getting in my feelings because I can't get that vision out of my head I can't get the vision of what I saw on those videos out of my head I can't and I'm very passionate about the kids. You know I'm very passionate about the children. I'm very passionate. And the reason why this hit me so hard the way it did in regards to Lissandro Guzman Files is because it happened on June the 20th. Now if you've been following my channel and if you've been watching my videos, remember the video that I made with my son graduating? Okay. That video was on June the 20th. So what happened to Junior
It happened on the day that my son graduated. So, um, my son had his graduation in the morning, and his prom was in the evening from, I think, from 5 to 9. And if I'm not mistaken, 9 o'clock was when Junior went outside on the same day. So it went for me being like, yeah, happy with Jacob. So seeing that later on in the evening, like, later on in the evening, I'm seeing videos. And then the next day, I'm hearing, I'm like, my whole inside, everything inside of me, my innermost being just went, it just went, boom. I woke up crying. I woke up in the sweat crying, go to sleep crying. I can't eat because I feel guilty. I'm like, oh my gosh. I can't sleep. I can't eat. I can't think. I can't do nothing. I've been, I became so absorbed and so overly impacted by what happened. I became so, it's like my whole body was just infiltrated with depression and sorrow. Let me tell you something. I even went before God. I was like, how could you? How could you, even if you needed a person, why would you do that to him in such a way? Why would you allow that? You, God, you could have came, you could intervene, you could have stopped it just by a, a wink of your eye, just by a breath from your nostrils. You could have done something. I went after everything and everybody. I'm telling you, me and my family, we was at the round table. And so, you know. So, with that being said, it will never leave me. Although I don't know the family and I never knew that young man, he was within my kids' age group. He did the thing that my young ones did. Typical, typical little kid. Nonetheless. It's heartbreaking. It's still heartbreaking. And I still cry. I still cry. So with that being said, I'm going to end this video. Because I need to. And I want to begin my other videos. You're going to see me wearing the same top, whatever, because I'm getting in my feelings. I'm going to end this video with condolences to the family of Luz and Junior. And um, prayers up. Prayers out. Storm the gates. Storm the ground. Um, condolences. Stay prayerful, stay focused, stay grounded. Look at my eyes, it's like one all over the place. Cause it's, I'm stressed. <laughs> oh my gosh. Stay blessed.